becoming a professional Counter-Strike player certainly isn't easy and everyone's got their own journey and how they go on it. I've got Ima here from Navi. How are you doing? Hello, I'm very good. Where did you grow up in Romania? Were you always from Bucharest? I was born in Bucharest. Oh, nice. But then uh, around six or seven, mm -hmm. I moved outside of Bucharest, but not for a long time. Like, I think I came back around 12 or 13 because of the high school, because we didn't have like better schools wherever, wherever we moved. Yeah. For you though, where, say school times, were you a very competitive person? Like not just gaming, I mean like normal sports? In school? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing was was fighting sports. Oh, really? Uh, okay. That's... What sports? Football, basically. Football, yeah? Yes. So you were very competitive? Kind of, yes. Your first time of playing video games of any sort. How old were you then? I mean, I think my first game ever was Halo 2. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my parents bought me a PC and then it was from someone else. Mm -hmm. And then they had Halo 2 in the PC and I was like, oh, let's nice. try it. <laughs> and I actually liked it. How old were you? I think it was around, around 10. I'm not 10. sure, yes. Okay. 9, 10, 11, somewhere there. When did you get into Counter-Strike? I remember that I was in school. Some of my colleagues was playing uh, 1.6. Nice. And then uh, I was starting to play 1.6 and then I'm not sure if it was the same guy or someone else that played CSGO. CSGO was already out mm -hmm. and I started to play CSGO around 2013 in the middle of the year or okay. something like this. Was this a home PC you were playing on or did you play home the internet PC. cafe? Okay, oh, nice. Did you have a good PC at home? Mm, nah, <laughs> no. <laughs> like I have an interesting story, like I was playing for Nexus with mm -hmm. 100 FPS. And I was playing in rank S back in the days yeah. with 100 FPS. I won the first place and that's how I bought my new PC. <laughs> well, that's good. That's a good investment, right? Invest in your future. Okay, so you start in 2013, but you didn't join Nexus till 2018, right? Something like this, yes. What what happened in this time between? Like, did you just play matchmaking with friends? Then, I mean, I, I was playing matchmaking a lot. Mm -hmm. Then I started to play face it around I don't know, something in the middle there. So how did you find Face It? Or how did you go from matchmaking to Face It? Probably like everyone, just a random guy in TeamSpeak or it was TeamSpeak for sure, not Discord. <laughs> uh, saying, ah, oh, let's play that tournament on Face It. Okay. And then we played the tournament on Face It. And then we see that there is a matchmaking on Face It and we played there as well. What did your parents think though when you start to put so much time into Counter-Strike? They didn't have any problems. Okay. Because we, we we had like a rule that it was not a rule, basically. Like, you can play, you can do whatever you want, mm -hmm. but you don't miss classes. No, okay. I was never missing a class, not even religion or something like this. Really? You just went all classes? Full. Like, so you were a good yeah. boy at school. And like, was it always come home, play school, and then Counter-Strike? Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yes. Did you have some teams that you played in with these guys? Yes, I had like a, a team. I, it was called Vamavek. We were just playing tournaments, we were losing every time, 16-1, 16-2, but we were just playing. We didn't like grow up together, but we, we made like 8, 9 until it's level 10 together, so it was okay, good. Okay, so you grinded out, yes. you were learning the competitive side. So we had a hub in Romania, a hub for only pro, semi-pro Romanians, like all of them were, they were level 10, they were like more than decent, even Nexus were playing there. And then I think I won the first tournament of that, first season. Then I got second place in the second season or something like this. Okay. Then I won the third season or, or something similar. I don't remember correctly, Did but- you get money for this? Yes. So, okay, like, was this the first time you made money from Counter-Strike? Uh, kind of, yes. So how much was your first like big paycheck? Rank S, like I said. And how much would you get for Rank S then? It was first place, so 1,200. 1,200 dollars? Yes. And what did your parents say then? I think I, I just told them that I will, uh, I want this, mm -hmm. I'll buy a PC. <laughs> I, I don't care. I've got my money, I need better PC, <laughs> I can play better, yes. done, that was it. Yes. But did you always want to say like, I'm gonna be a professional player? Did you have a goal? Not really. Like, so I, what were you thinking of? No, no, for, for example, usually I don't like to set goals at all. Like I just go okay. like moment by moment, mm -hmm. year by year, and then just see what happens. You, you can set like small goals, like, okay, I want to do this, but now you can, I have to do this. I must do this, yeah. Yeah, because okay. if you don't do it, then you're going to be full disappointment, then maybe you lose motivation and stuff like this. I just don't want to, and I don't like it. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, I think I just played the flow. Like I said, I was playing in that hub, and then uh, Nexus saw me, 
Aha, so this will be the next yes, time. Yes, then they, they put a good word to the second best Romanian team. Mm -hmm. Then I went there. Then from there, I went to Nexus. And you at this point, how many hours a day are you playing? A lot. <laughs> a a lot. lot. And did you get a salary at Nexus? And no. Really? Yes. Back, no salary? Yes, back then, at the, at the first time, we had no salary. So what did you Nexus. get for joining? Nothing. We were just getting the prize money. They were already playing for two years, maybe, maybe more, maybe less, mm -hmm. without salaries. Then I joined, and then after some, not, not that much time, they started to give us some salaries. Okay. Did you have a contract though, even though you weren't? So no contract? No contract. So technically, it's kind of good because you're free and you could go to somewhere else when another offer comes along. Yeah. So during Nexus, was this, would you say, is like the most serious you'd got? Yes. Yeah. And was there like full practice schedule? Yes. Did you finish school to the end? Yes, I finished school to the end. Okay. So when you joined Game Legion, yeah, you just went as a free agent, basically? Did they have to buy you? Yes, I went for free. We were playing the Flashpoint. We are in close qualifier with Nexus. We did good. Not gonna lie, we were playing good at that mm -hmm. point. Game Legion contacted me. Also. I said no first time. Mm -hmm. Then they bring Dobo. Okay. And then after the second time, whenever they, uh, they asked me to come instead of Dobo, mm -hmm. I said yes. Okay, so you came to Game Legion. Yes. Now you're talking real contract. Yes. Good salary? Yes. I don't need to know numbers, but like a good salary. It does good, yeah. And you can now live and play comfortably. Yeah. Now, go to the Paris Major. Yeah. This is obviously where things really change for you guys. A lot. But is it just because you changed leadership, your IGL changed? Was that the reason for success or did it just all click? What do you put it down to? Team progress, basically. So he came with his ideas. He did a great job doing uh, IGL and else, but also like Aiko came with his experience. Yep. He helped a lot. He was speaking a lot uh, mid-round as well. Kyo. He was your most experienced player though, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Kyo as well, he came, he had like a lot of energy. You put up one hell of a show, but you were the star of the show. Were you always thinking you'd be in a star rifler position or was this just you hey, making sure you could perform? What was the biggest difference here? I don't know, I just played my game, to be honest. No, no, no. Bro. <laughs> no, no I'm, not, I'm not joking, I was just, just playing my game. I always hated this uh, this first star rifle. Mm. But you were demolishing sure, people, bro. you were running through yeah. tier one teams, you were just yes. pop, 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 pop. True. And it, I, I can understand your team might set you up, you might go for a play, you might say you want to play, but you played better than you'd ever played. Yes. What was the difference? What, because like, now, right, you must feel that people expect this of you. Yes. I mean, back in Paris, it was full on the floor. Like, we were feeling confident. Mm -hmm. We were feeling like we can beat anyone. What was this whole Paris experience like for you, though? Like, you had so much more media attention. Everyone had high expectations because of your performance. Everyone was super hyped. Everyone was like, Ima, Ima, Ima. Overwhelming, I would mm. say, because everyone was cheering. Everyone was uh, hyping. Everyone was... Uh, Nice. Yeah. Pretty much overhyping to me. Yeah. Overhyping. <laughs> yes. I would say like, and I was like, okay. And then Navi go, hello. Hello. We want you. <laughs> what the hell do you say then? Because you go Nexus, Game Legion, which is still okay. But then Navi, this is yes. way different. Yeah. I think I can say that Game Legion wanted me to stay so badly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but they, they couldn't hold no. me. I, I got like a lot of offers, but like, and a lot of interest. But you chose Navi, so why did you yes. choose Navi? I mean, it was the most obvious one, no? Yeah? If, yes. But like, you, did you know what players would be there? Did you know like Alexi yes. would be there yes. and stuff? Uh, whenever Andre, Andre contacted me, mm -hmm. he told me the team. He asked me if I'm interested and I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> why are <you> asking? <laughs> So what do you think right now of, of how your journey on Navi has just begun, this early start, right? It's just been just over six months now. We started good, like, obviously we didn't start at the best because we are not winning constantly. I think it's kind of understandable, not understandable, because we still need like more time with, uh, with Wonderful to, to, yeah. to put up like a, a more structure, like to know basic gaps, to have fast solution to unpredictable uh, stuff. You've gone very quickly to the very top. Did you imagine that it would happen like that? It's not that quick. No, no, not in terms of, but if you look at it from like, you didn't go Nexus to Game Legion to like a lower, you didn't have to go through like a lower tier team. You went straight to one of the biggest organizations. How do you view it? I don't view it like you. <laughs>
I see it like uh, I play the light in the lower tier teams, like for example Nexus. Well, you spent a lot of time in both Nexus and Game League. Then I spent years. a lot of time in Game of Legion. Yeah. That we gained a lot. Uh, so you're very loyal. Yes, and then and then something happened, and I ended up in, in Navi. So I think it was like a hard work mm -hmm. uh, path. You can say that it was lucky because Paris Major, but uh, no, you you performed, you played, you played really well. Yes. People wanted you. Yes. That's not lucky. Yeah, it still took. I don't care about the run or who teams you faced. You yeah. still fought against every team you played, right? Yeah, you still did big numbers on it. It's, that's what everyone was hyped about you. And if a team like Navi can see, okay, we want that. Yeah, that's obviously very positive. It's not about luck, is it? Do you have a goal still though to win a major? Like obviously. Yeah, there we go. I mean, okay. I, I mean. I got the second place, now I have to take the first place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just if you had any advice to people who watch this and they want to become a professional gamer, you went through playing for teams, play, well, playing with friends, playing with teams, the face it way, and now you're here. What advice would you give to young players that want to become pros? Because everyone's so young now trying to start. Yes, I mean, the best advice that I will get is have patience. Because okay. people will start being, I mean, not a pro, Pe people will get to tire one, mm -hmm. maybe at a young age, 70 years old, 16 years old, 18, but people are getting in tire one at 24, yeah, yeah. like me. So you never know. So if, if you don't um, give up, mm -hmm. your chance will come. I like it. Well, thank you very much. It was very interesting to hear your story, man. Thank and you. Best of luck for the major. Thank you.